Good day folks, Wes here and today I'm going to attempt a rebuild of a Chrysler Pentastar 3.6 with the evil tick they all do that thanks to the Chrysler Corporation for putting in some crappy rock roller rockers it's not if they go it's when so today I'm just going to try to uh, pinpoint where the noise is coming from and hope to hell that that is in fact what it is it's not an easy repair I haven't been in an engine in years but the dealership wanted to shank me three grand for the car. I don't even think the car's worth it. It's got 162,000 miles, so. But it's been pretty good. So we're either gonna make it or break it. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead, open it up, crank it up, and let's see if I can find where the noise is originating. All right, so here we are. The hood's opened up. We're gonna take off the uh, cover here. This just lifts right up. I already loosened that, by the way. And we're going to use this little mechanic stethoscope here. He says you have to go to law school to be a doctor. Now, it's not doing it too loud yet, but I'm just going to listen around here. I think it's coming from this side here. Holy shit, that thing looks pretty good. a little bit of ticking over there. Let's listen on this side here. We're really not doing it yet. Not hot enough. This guy seems pretty damn quiet. That side's pretty quiet. I figured it'd be the hardest side, but I'm gonna keep trying one more time here. Yeah. I'm definitely hearing some scratching around over here. Let's see if the exhaust. I see a couple of them. I know this is boring. <clears throat> yeah. So there's definitely a tick on the... They would call that the right bank, but if you're looking at this way, it's the left, but it's actually the right, so... Now I'm going to have to wrestle with taking off this plenum here. Take a look. Bring in a little closer here. Well, this is the intake plenum. It's a pain in the ass to get off. There's all kinds of hoses and connectors and stuff. Uh, anyway, let me go ahead and start ripping this off. i got to take the air box off first. I'm not going to bore you with that. We'll suspend the video for a minute and pick it up when I get ready to start ripping it apart. Okay, I think I'm going to pull this air box out of the way because uh, <coughs> I'm not going to try to separate this here. You don't have to. You're supposed to need the room. These things are really rusty. So I'm going to give this a shot. hope I don't strip them out. There's three of them here. Harbor Freight. Can't beat it. Right here. Harbor Freight. Okay. Pull this hose off of here. Okay, now <coughs> this should pop right up. There's a little rubber thing here, so I gotta lift up on it a little bit. <coughs> and kind of, and 
there's a connector under here. Just give it a squeeze on this one. This one's not too tough, I don't think. That comes right out. Look at that. That wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> That's okay, though. We can get this thing right out of the way here. <coughs> All right. And the trick to this thing is just squeeze it. So they say. Got it back pretty far. This baby's in there though. There she goes. And I gotta pull some of these hoses up. And it really wasn't supposed to do that. It's a map sensor. I guess it'll be alright to leave it out if I don't, I don't know if she can get oil on it or nothing though. Well, I'm gonna put it back in where it belongs. I'll probably lose the damn thing if I don't. <clears throat> Be right back. See this thing here? Yeah. More money if you screw it up. Alright, so the first obstacle I'm running into here <clears throat> is uh, right here. Focus up there, camera. Let me uh, actually zoom out a little so I can see where the hell I'm. So this guy right here, that is supposed to be a nut. And if you look close here, there's this funky thing, this bolt. I think it unthreads from here, but I ain't going to take that off because who knows. So i got a bolt way down here in the block that I pulled off. Way down there. And I should be able to get that back in too late because I took it out now anyway. So, that's where we're at with this. Okay, that was fun. That, that was another hour wrestling match with a uh, with those little plastic grommets that hold the wiring harnesses. Like, again, this is not supposed to come off like this. Okay, I'm going to show you in a second what the problem is here. Uh, I'll put it over here. Okay, go for a walk. Check your hands, I've been wrestling with that damn thing. So what's supposed to happen, <laughs> right here, there's supposed to be nuts you can take off, okay? Because there's all kinds of wiring harnesses and crap, air conditioning lines bolted to this. You're only supposed to loosen this and lay them back. Well, that's not what this arrangement is these things are like stamped washers they don't come out I'm not going to try to uh, unscrew this thing and uh, perhaps damage the plenum that would be more so I would have been on an hour ago the other side the same way over here look at this see it's supposed to look like that I can't see sorry mm-hmm Fire the cameraman, okay? Let's see, where am I pointing here? Right there. See? There's a nut washer there. There's a nut that was on that one, the only one. Same deal here. This stamped washer, which I think is part of this bracket. I don't know how they screw that in. Wouldn't come out. I had vice grips and everything on it. I'm not going to crack the plenum. So, there you have it. <coughs> so, the thing's off. You know, wasn't supposed to be that tough, but it was. It is what it is. So, so I covered this guy up here. Sun's falling, so I have to stop for now. This light sucks, but I did cover up the plenum because we don't need stuff drop, dropping in here. And, uh, <clears throat> put some tools away and stuff like that. There it is there, see? Something falls in those gaskets there, those holes, you're done. You're toast. 
So I'll cover that up. All right. So I know the lighting's not so great, but we're going to be taking this bank off next here. Might as well go all the way right. I don't think like I'm going to get this thing back together and running anyway. So this is more of an experiment at this point. So, but uh, we'll pick it up tomorrow, and uh, we'll see uh, what more trouble I can get into. What's going on? Leaf start today, Sunday. Went out last night, so. Uh, Hence, I didn't start early today, so we're going to start out. I'm going to try to take off this valve cover gasket here. So I'm going to mark these guys here so, so I don't mess them up. mark these because they can't screw them up. So I'll put a dot from left to right. One. Two. as good as I thought it would have, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to pull these things off here. And I'm going to pull the back off. And this hose, I think that thing can stay, actually. But that might be in the way. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Is that a harness right there? That's going to have to get removed, too. Alright, I'll get back at you. I gotta get my uh, Torx wrench here and a couple of the tools. And I'm gonna rip this harness off and then we'll go ahead and see what's next. Okay, so there's still a little hope left here. There's this little guy here was covering one of these studs. I didn't see it. So, let me hang the light back up here again. <coughs> Everybody needs some sequence, you know? Ever notice that? You gotta do things in sequence. Okay. I gotta remember where this thing came from, which is this guy. Now let's give it another shot here. Yeah, it's starting to come up now. Here we go. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to pull it back here. Harness is giving me a problem here. Alright, get back. She's coming, man. She's coming. I have another. Uh... Come on here? No, I don't think so. Stuff's in the way. A little more promising. Be much more fun to put in. Huh? There we go. Slide back and up. Uh, what the hell is this? Oh, it's a gasket. I'm going to replace that anyway, so, okay, off you come. Alright, look at that. So, this thing here it messed me up. I didn't see this. I'm going here. So you guys, you attempt this shit. There's a screw hidden under that. Doesn't look like there is, but there is. Okay. You understand? All right. Now we 
getting into the meat of the crotch up here. Did all this or nothing, and I should be able to find a loose, loose rocker here. Back in a minute. All right, let's try this again. First day with a new camera. So, um, I was hoping that I wasn't doing this all for nothing, and I did right here find one that's already loose. Listen to this. Hear that? That is not supposed to be moving. The rest of them. I'm probably going to find a couple more here. I know some of them have some tension on them from the lobes. The good thing is this cam... I think I caught it in time. Not even wore on the outside. It's not that bad yet. If I had waited... Screw. The rest of them I'm going to... I'm going to do them all anyway. Now I don't know if it's the the uh, hydraulic lifter or the roller rocker. But I'm gonna we're gonna take this apart real quick here. I don't know if I'm gonna do the rest of this today, but uh, there you go. These are phasers, and we gotta uh, take those off. I gotta do some marking. Gotta spray some brake clean on them. Mark these because I am gonna do this the right way, which is pull the phaser back. Take the whole uh, caps off. I gotta mark everything here, so I'm not gonna bore you with marking everything. And uh, come on back with the next step. All right, folks. I'm gonna have my wife here hold the flashlight because I can't see here. You can hold that right there, just like so. And. I was, as I suspected, we do have a bad uh, rocker here. See that moving? Yes, that's bad. And none of these are moving at all. But, but that might be another one. But I have to rotate the, this thing now here. And if you could come a little forward and aim in here for a little bit. Right there, that's a good thing. Too. And I'm going to rotate the crankshaft. Tight fit here. What about your tools? Are they gonna come nope. flying off? It's okay. All right. So what we're gonna look for is <laughs> there's two sets of holes here. There should be holes here and here. This is the exhaust. This is the intake cam. And I'm gonna line these up. I'm going to wait for them to come around the top. So here we come right here. These two here. I don't see the two holes. So there's a hole here and one here. See that? Oh yeah, I see that. One here and here. Yeah, I see that. Now if we look on the front, if you come around the front a little, I've got to line these up so you can shine the light right there for me. Perfect. And they're supposed to point at each other. Right about there. Okay. That's exactly where I want it. So I got the four holes here, the four holes here. All right, that's good. I'm gonna have to spray clean this off a little bit. I'm gonna mark everything off, and then we're gonna pull these phasers back a little bit here. That's the most dangerous part of this job. I screw this up, toast. But anyway, that's it. Thank you, Priscilla. We'll be back momentarily. Hey, folks, how's it going? Captain West here trying to uh, fix his engine here, the uh, mighty Pentastar 3.6. Been giving me a lot of trouble getting into this thing. Don't ever believe what uh, the YouTube videos you see. It ain't as easy as you see. I'll show you, uh, you guys, because I know there's a lot of guys with the same problem. Right, Chris? Uh, if you want to attempt this, some of the stuff I ran into here, and I'll recap that after. Uh, Yesterday I was trying to do this. By the way, I just got home from work. Kind of tired, but my torque wrench kind of screwed up. Ain't supposed to do that. Would you trust that? I wouldn't. So, went to Harbor Freight and got this bad boy here. I already put it up to 118 foot-pounds for the cam phaser. And I will even let you guys watch me fight this thing. So, 
Go ahead and put this. This is a 36 millimeter socket. You get a really crank on this thing. Let me uh, put the camera over here where we're working here. Let's see here. I don't have one of those fancy cameras, you know, so it jiggles and does all kinds. It moves all over the damn place. All right. Sorry for that. I apologize. So I'm working on the exhaust right now. I actually finished that yesterday. This thing sucks to move, you know that? All right, anyway. So I wasn't able to tighten this thing all the way properly. So we've got this wedge in here. If you guys don't want to spend the money on the tools, you're going to be sorry. I tried taking this phaser off of here. comes off great. doesn't go back on. So I know some guys do it, but if you're not that experienced, it ain't going on. So we're going to just crank this up to 118 foot-pounds. Wow, see, I was way off. There we go. Yeah, it was probably... Uh, 40 50 pounds shy now this guy's already loose so what you do is you loosen these guys up first all right you use this thing here what this guy does is loosens the tension on the chain make sure you guys mark this stuff here because you have to rotate this camshaft which I'm going to do now so uh, well first no I'm not I'm going to pull the phaser off so what you do is you take this guy off here Don't lose it, don't drop it, don't put it in a magnetic tray, keep all this shit away from magnets. Or you'll be buying new ones. Or your car is going to run like hell when you put it back together. So let's take this off. I'm working in a dirt driveway, so I've got to be real careful not to drop it. And it's greasy, so I have some rags. I should probably be using... Uh, Yep, I look nice to you. Can you tell? Alright, so see how easy that came out? Alright, I'm just going to throw that in this box here for now. And uh, you know what? I'm going to move the camera a little bit, show you what's going on here, and uh, we'll walk you through doing the uh, exhaust part, just so you can see what's happened. Be right back. All right, we're back. So, one thing you got to know is we're going to remove this phaser here. We're not going to pull it all the way off. We're just going to move it forward so I can pull the cam up. What you got to do, though, is make sure you see mark here and right here. You got to mark your cam to the alignment of the phaser and the bearing cap because we're going to be moving this. I might have said this already, but if you screw up, you've had it. You're never going to get a line back up to put it on. Uh, this will be a little easier because now I have the tensioner which I didn't have before so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to try to grab this now that I got the front pulled off and pu slowly pull it back just so I see the cam slip out of it easier said than done mind you but let's give it a shot here so if you keep this block here you won't lose anything just get it just enough so she slides off I believe she's off right there. Yep, she's definitely off now. But this tool is holding everything here. The chain's not going to drop in. I'm not going to lose my timing. So we're good. Now I got to rotate that cam so it's at dead center because there's a lot of tension on here now. And watch out, there's a lot of pressure on this guy here. <coughs> um, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see what's happening here. Okay, so we want to rotate this so there's not a lot of tension on the, uh, the springs there. And I found the first time the wrench went flying and almost knocked my wife off out. So give it a twist and it'll kind of like click where it wants to be. Sometimes you got to take a couple of runs at it. You know, this almost feels like where it needs to be, actually. Not really. Mm. 
better do it the other way. There we go. All right. Okay, see that? Nice and easy. I can almost move that with my hand now. So there's no tension now. See why I marked that? Nowhere near close. All right, now we pull the caps off. It's okay to use an impact to pull them off. Don't use it to pull it back on it. Uh, they have a specific uh, impact going back on. So we'll go ahead and lift these guys off, though. And uh, they have to be in order. So. phaser thing out of the way a little bit. Don't want to strip one, that's for sure. Don't lose it. And just keep them in order, okay? Take it nice and easy until <laughs> you're a pro. Then you're gonna fly through the same. Somebody could probably do this in an, an hour, but not me. And the last one, light's not doing too good for me here, but eh, yes, it is what it is. I don't need to see that much. See, that's why it looks good for a Probably would have worked pretty hard at that without impact. I'm telling you. Alright. See if I gotta raise this light a little better. I don't know. Like this. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so oops. Should be moving. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering me. I've got that thing out of there. See, that's better. Just so you guys can see. So, you notice on the exhaust, they have this little thing here for the uh, PCV. Now, the intake doesn't. So, we can just go ahead technically and lift this guy right out. Look at that, huh? What we do is we look for any uh, lobe damage here, flat spots, anything wiped out. These are the camp, the uh, rides on the rollers. And frankly, this thing looks in beautiful shape. I don't think I have a bad uh, rocker on this one, but I'm doing them anyway. Okay. Don't know if you can see, but it looks so good. All right. So I'm going to uh, go ahead, I'm going to do the rockers one by one here. Well, actually, I'll just pull them out. What do I care? So, <clears throat> let's feel it, see if there's play, no play on that one. Doing the lifters too. A little push, they shouldn't move. Okay, so if anyone wants to buy any used rockers or lifters, look me up. Send me an IM. <laughs> Give you a good deal on them. Chrysler OEM junk. Alright. Feels out 
Okay. Problem there. It's getting on it. Kind of like a racer. Now this one's starting to go. Got you can't see it obviously. It's got a little bit. Isn't this fun? You guys getting bored yet? I know I am. <laughs> all right. So all these are good. It's still. Like I say, I had two. This one and this one was gone, big time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the other ones. I have I've had this soaking in motor oil, so this, you know they won't be running dry. I'm gonna throw them back on and uh, come back. So when we put the uh, cam back in, okay. And I might have a beer too while I'm at it. <laughs> so I just spent about 10 minutes trying to pry one of these stupid sockets off the hole here. I had to use a pair of pliers and vice grips to get this off. And it's that kind of stuff that slows you down here. You understand? See that? Just for that. I didn't have this tool yesterday, so this is going to be pretty cool. Make things a lot quicker. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, put, pick that cam up, put it back in here. <clears throat> Obviously, that end goes to the back, and uh, I'm just going to throw it in here till it sits, uh, you know, nice and flat. See that? So there's no tension there. That's what we want. That's why we did that. It's miraculously pretty close to where I need it to be. Isn't that strange? <coughs> Check something real quick here. Making sure I'm use copacetic. Yep. You know, actually where it was, was resting, so I can actually just put it back in almost in the right position. This little guy here is going to be able to throw in the air. by the barren cap here in a second. So, we'll get it, go ahead and start putting these on. Start with the front cap. Now there is a torque sequence to this. Right now I'm just going to throw them on here and uh, slightly cinch them up a little bit. Just by hand. with an extension for now. I just set it yesterday where you know how you put the bit in the, another quarter inch bit. Well, the thing kept sliding out and it was getting pretty annoying. So I went and got this thing 
seems to be making life a little bit easier. No power tools there going in. Aluminum block. Wonder what that would cost you. Well, head, not a block. So, nothing I'd want to do, I can tell you that much. Now, if you do screw up the numbering on these, they're actually pretty well labeled. They're labeled I1, I2, I3 for intake, and B for exhaust. So, you really can't screw this up. Well, I suppose some people could, but... If you can read and somewhat pay attention, you should be okay. <laughs> Last cap. Now we go ahead and get the torque wrench and torque them down. We go find that. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Gonna torque it down. 89 inch pounds. Start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the inboard side first. I think this one would have more, huh? Because it's near the front, but no spec. No, nothing about it, so it is what it is. I'm going to go through all of them one more time. Make sure you're missing because it ain't possible. It doesn't seem like a lot of torque, but... Yep, see I missed that one, didn't I? A little out of sequence, let's hope she won't blow up, huh? I kinda doubt it will, but still. They do do this for a reason. <laughs> I think I had to torque a little low on these others, so while I'm here, I'm just going to double check. Looks like I went a little overboard on these, I think, but I'm better safe than sorry. <clears throat> Those are good, and now, through kind of luck, I've got to put this phaser, they call it, back on here. So the cam actually looks pretty lined up. 
Believe it or not. And it is. Look at that stuff, huh? Damn thing went right on there. Just looked out, it happened to be where it was. I went kind of like 180 out, but it's okay. So, that should make it easy to put this uh, oil control unit back on here. What the hell did I do with that thing? Let's see. If the cat didn't jump up here and knock in the dirt, that would, that would suck, wouldn't it? Here it is. Good. So far, so good. Okay. Yeah, see with that chain tight, you can't put this in by hand and it felt like it was binding. Probably couldn't be good for that phaser thing. So, definitely worth getting, spending 15 bucks for the tool. Definitely. Maybe I can find a way to fast forward this, but I'm not that good, so. You might end up sitting here and watching it. Go ahead and uh, grab some popcorn or something. All right, I'm gonna torque this up here. All right, again. Many, many foot pound here. Make sure this guy's all the way in. for now I could back this out and this guy goes way in there that's the cam uh, the ch timing chain release valve here pull that out voila I got tension okay so far so good and, uh, That's it for tonight because I'm out of light, man. I'm out of gas, too. I know that wasn't much, but so far, so good. And, uh, yeah. So, we'll be back. And uh, I'm, not, I'm deciding whether I'm going to do the other side or not. Anyway, I'll shut up now. And uh, hope you enjoyed the, the, the freak show here. <laughs> and we'll be back soon. All right. Got a new battery. It's time to uh, start putting this side back together, actually. So I just put a brand new Felpro gasket in here. The, the uh, valve cover. Don't want to use the old one, even though it looks pretty good. Felpro's good stuff went on nice and easy. And uh, just one more final inspection here. Make sure we've got nothing left here. All the rollers and uh, the rockers and the lifters are done. Just taking a little snapshot in here because it's going to be tight to get this back together. I was getting a little bit of interference from the cover putting it back on here, but everything's back together. Chain's good and tight. Phases are all torqued down. All these have been torqued. Yeah, there's plenty of oil here, so I'm not going to have to worry about that. The cam was in good shape on this side. Like I said, recapping found two bad rollers, so... We're going to go ahead. I got it cleaned up down here. We're going to put a little RTV here and here. Right here, actually. Yep. Right there where it splits. It actually came up pretty good. So we're going to RTV that. And then we're going to try to put this valve cover gasket. I've only got about 40 minutes left of light here on a Thursday. But uh, we'll keep uh, doing short little videos here of uh, the progress and see what happens. Alright, so I'm actually, I had to convert 13 foot-pounds to inch-pounds to 156, and this thing does do 156 inch-pounds, so let's see how close I got. It's there, I'm probably a little over there, right? Well, it's a tight enough. But it 
didn't strip <laughs> this time. All right. And now we can put the coil packs on. <laughs> They're already pretty moved up, so I'll just do a quick inspection, make sure there's no white residue on the outsides or whatnot. You think I'll mix these up? How do you think it'll work? Okay. These guys don't have any spec, so you just tighten them up as much as you think you need to. here but okay won't die from it <laughs> well, a good twist and it kind of stops Let me check these make sure they're in good Just drop the song. Now, here's the decision I have to make here. <coughs> so I'm half done. I've been picking away at this, uh, you know, every two or three hours a day. So I haven't hammered at it all day. But now, do I do the other side? I've got the parts. Uh, this really wasn't so hard. It all depends on um, what's going to be in the way over here. I'm going to look at the wiring harness. Uh, anything that looks like it's going to be a royal pain to get out, I might stop here because I think I've still got a running vehicle. I think. We'll see. So I'm going to take a drop light, look around this side, see how gnarly it's going to be. And uh, if I think I can do it, I'm going to do it. Be back shortly. You know, I need my head examined, I think, but I'm going to try it. I mean, what the hell, I've gone this far, and I think it's a pretty high probability those guys are ready to go. If I found two in the other bank, same engine, I got the parts, I guess I'd have to be pretty stupid not to do it. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. Um, it's really not that hard, I don't think. And it takes the hardest part. I am going to go ahead and uh, just grab this thing and get a good snapshot of what's going on here. Where the connectors are. I'm going to have to take a look at that. Because I'm never going to remember. My memory is nothing. It's terrible. Pathetic. Alright. And I'm doing this for a friend of mine who might attempt it too. So I'm going to record a little more of the sequence. Uh, and I don't know how to fast forward, so just doing a little quick look here. 
These connectors are a blast right here. This guy comes out. The connector down, way down here. It's gotta come out, it's not a connector, it's just a mount. But the harnesses aren't as bad here. Obviously the coil packs are coming out, all these bolts here. These might be a little hard to get to, but not terrible. This guy up front here. And of course, we're going to have to pull the oil control valves off. I've already got them marked three and four. Not a big deal. They come out pretty easy. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to bore you taking all the bolts out. They come out fairly easy. You're going to want to look up the sequence to put them back in. Provided I get this far, but... Uh, We'll run you through the uh, chain tightener. This is real interesting on this side to get the chain loose and, and uh, loosen the phaser. So we'll be back. Uh, this will probably take me eh, 40 minutes or so. So one of the things you guys are going to find here if you try this is <laughs> these connectors here are a pain. These uh, harness retainers here. But it's on the valve cover, so I got one down here that pulled off pretty easy. I got one up front that did so. Get one of these little tools here, I don't know if you can see it. And you can kind of start it here, but it doesn't really finish. You know, it's kind of hard to get in there. Get a twist. Actually, that one came right off. And usually these things go get all messed up. I'm getting lucky on this side. At least on that one. Obviously don't cut through the goddamn wire either. A little pry, okay. Alright, that's all. You don't have to mess with these connectors. You really don't have to mess with the back here. I've already pulled the coil packs out. I pulled out this uh, sensor here. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off the oil control valves. I'm going to move the light real quick here. All right, had to position the light. Next thing I would have done, you guys, is get a good lighting, man. And I'm blind as a bat, but you got to see what the hell you're doing here. Remember, mark these. You can't screw this up. So, one dot, two dot, three dot, four. Okay. I find this thing's easy enough to use here. They come out pretty easy. Don't lose them. I've already disconnected the connectors. I know I'm repeating myself, but. Ooh. Yeah, a little tight. Alright, and then you just the bottom is a little on the tight side here. <coughs> You could use a power tool, but on this thing, I prefer not to. <coughs> it takes ten times longer, but it'll take more longer and more money if I break the damn thing. So, still, for someone with a car with 160,000 miles, it's not too bad. <coughs> Coming off pretty good. Rusty. This is the stuff that takes time. You just be real careful not to lose the bolt. These all, six are all the same size, so you can't screw that up. That one's coming nice and easy. Okay, one more on this. Shit, did that jump out of the... Another thing, keep track of where your tools are. I'm having really hard organizational skills finding where the hell I'm putting my tools. Getting better, but half the time I'm trying to find where I put the tools to get these things off. All right, just give these a little wiggle here. They'll drop them in the dirt. Now there's an O-ring on here. It might stay in the valve cover, it might not. In this case, it stayed in here, it's okay. I just use a glass bowl and putting these things in there. Let's grab the other one real quick. I'll strip it. Make sure you got a good bite on it. That 
Let's use these lower ones. No problem. Wow. <laughs> see? Uh oh. Now see, this isn't good. This guy's stripping. This is the stuff that happens. Now you can get this off without taking that out, but I'm gonna see if I can find another bit. So I'll be right back. I got lucky I had another one. <laughs> the thing barely loosened up, man. That thing was in there. And that wouldn't be fun having to try to cut that off with a cutoff wheel and looking for another bolt. Yeah, the thing's rusty. I'm going to definitely lube that up, putting it back in. <clears throat> Those bottom ones are a little bit of a pain, as you can see. Okay. <coughs> Same thing, watch for the ring. Alright, that one stayed in too. All right, control valve, four dots, get it? Don't forget it, okay. Now, I'm gonna retool here and we're gonna pull off the valve cover. Be back in a flash. Okay, I recommend getting a, an impact driver to get these things off. This thing's already shit in the bed though. It's already starting to smoke, smoke. Not a fan of that. I don't think there's a bolt in the very back there. Oh yeah, there probably is, right? Well, remember some of these are studs. Oh, and you know what? This will not work on the studded bolts because it ain't deep enough. So I'll just loosen the ones that I can get there right now. Don't put it down like this, you get to get them out. You don't want to you wanna pull up, okay? Now I gotta change the socket out. I'm gonna uh, pull these two and then we'll try prying the thing off. There's our TV in here with the seal, although they didn't do a very good job on the other side. But uh, we'll be right back. Alright, take 100. <laughs> That's why it's important to have the lighting. I didn't see this bolt right here that's overshadowed by this oil cap here. Let's see if I get any better luck now. Jeez. Here it comes, I think. I'm trying anyway. Okay, some of this is because of the gasket. There she goes. Now this one, you can kind of lift right up. Okay, gasket's sticking in here. See that? You never know what's gonna happen. All right, but that's okay. Valve cover. Huh? Okay. Don't want to lose these right here. Don't lose these gaskets here. I'm gonna just put this over on the table. I thought it'd get flooded with oil, but. Got lucky. Okay. Yeah, gloves are a good thing. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a quick inspection. Um, going to get the wrench I need to uh, turn the crank. Always turn it clockwise. And I'm going to see if I can do a quick inspection on if there's any bad rockers over here. I don't think so, but. And I'm going to inspect the camshaft as well. So, be right back. Okay, so quick inspection. Didn't find anything obvious. This one, I think, is getting ready to go. She's got a little bit of play. Probably not much longer for this world. Some of these, the uh, lobes are compressed. So, I'm just going to turn it a little bit here. This is the intake cam, the exhaust cam.
What I'm doing is see these have like, it's probably tough to see, these are oblong shaped. And what you want to do is you want to make, have them point up or at least no pressure. So I'm going to look at these two here and have them point up to me a little bit. Actually, that's the busy position I want uh, this camp to be in, believe it or not. I might not just bother and just take them off. You want these facing up, I'm going to have to mark this, I'm going to brake clean it. I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to uh, uh, switch the camera position again, and we'll start with that. Okay, so these are called cam phasers. There's what controls the valuable variable time valve uh, timing. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to clean these off, clean the oil off. We've got to mark these things. I know I've been through this once before, but that video screwed up. I want to make sure I got it this time. Let's a little blast, clean them up. Put a little bit on the front cam, okay? I'm actually going to do each block too here. Because we're going to be marking those too. Okay. Good enough. Don't worry, the oil will wash out the brake clean. It won't kill anything. Dry it off a little bit. Chain. Now, I know the video probably sucks, but there are two arrows pointing at each other. That's where we want that. And on the other side, there are these negative lines. It's the opposite. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark the relationship between the chain right here and the phaser in the back and the cam. Now see this side lines up perfectly as far as, and I'm going to show you that part too, as far as where the uh, dimples on the uh, camshaft side. The other side was nowhere near where it was supposed to be. Kind of threw me off a little. So get a nice paint marker here. Hope that's not rain, that would suck. I'm just gonna mark these off here. Get that chain good. Because if it does slip, you're gonna be glad you did this. Okay. I'm gonna move the light here a little bit. Get the back side as well. This one too. I mean, you can't really miss it. It's got a slot right here. I mean, that's, you know, but still. Just so it jumps right out at you. Okay. Okay, we're going to move you over here for a second. I'm going to pause it for a flash. Okay. So what we're going to do here is there's some dimples here. Here and here. Well, we're going to be breaking these, okay? So we're going to make sure there's a line. I'm going to mark this, even though you don't have to. I'm going to mark this guy here as a relationship to this. And then you want to line right there. It's going to line up on that part of the cam right there, okay? Same here. Right on that. That's pretty much on that line because we're going to be spinning these things. Okay? And we're going to have to line them up so we can get these phasers back on. <coughs> Alright, I'm going to mark these. Looks like somebody already did, but one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I won't, you only do one at a time. So I'm going to mark those. I won't put you through the pain for that. And then we'll pull the caps off. Okay. All right, we're back. So we're running into a little pro couple problems here. I had to, uh, let you know, trim this thing, that oil control valve there to uh, release the tensioner. That was a pain. I had to cut it once I did that. And the tool from Amazon didn't fit quite right, but I was able to pry the chain tensioner so I got a little bit of slack now. The second problem is this thing here, this tool, it's supposed to slide and it's not made right. It's made too thick. And <laughs> this thing's supposed to have enough play so you can pull the phasers back so I'm basically just ramming it 
in and out and in and out so these teeth that aren't made right will eventually slip enough so I can back these phasers off because I don't want to drop that so I'm going to spend another 10 or 15 minutes just ramming this thing in and out of the, over the sprockets I don't know if you can see but you know it's just not built right okay and it's too little deep here see how the holes are up well that caused a big problem because it's sitting on the deck here so it's causing tension so uh, beware when you buy from Amazon Anyway, it's getting a little better. See, I'm almost getting in my hand. But that's supposed to slip in nice and easy, you know, and it ain't happening. So uh, we'll get back, and uh, pretty soon we'll uh, go ahead and do this oil control valve, take that out, and take the upper cam off. All right, pulled the caps off. I stopped using the uh, impact wrench. That bit was actually starting to twist. Don't need to be stripping these. So hopefully this guy comes right out. Do an inspection here. Looks good. Nothing super wiped out here. So that's a keeper. <coughs> these out of the way for now okay I'm just still taking a bath the uh see I don't have enough lifters in this I mean uh Sorry, I don't have enough. Excuse me. Ugh, what a lunch. Hot dogs with ketchup. That's right, you New Yorkers. Um, I don't have enough uh, collapsible lifters here to replace it, so I'm just going to test them. I got a whole bag box full of them here for me. Other side, they should be fine. So, uh, uh, yeah. I was going to put some gloves on. Yeah, screw it. Let's just do it. Huh, nothing to it but to do it. Whoa. Good. I don't have any lifters left, so hopefully we don't have a bad one. Just gonna do a test. Ooh, we got a bad lifter here. Okay, so we're gonna find one. I ain't doing that here. Yeah, that's solid. So look at that, huh? I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's compressing. That is a bad lifting. We're putting that sucker aside. Okay. That's why I kept these old ones. Man, huh? That's why you check this stuff. you guys to see but I can see <laughs> that one's got a little play she's starting to go <sighs> seems okay we'll put that back kind of sucks that uh, Napa didn't have them have them you know but whatever <sighs> All right, so I'm going to go through these. I'll tell you how many uh, other bad ones I find. I'm kind of glad I did this side with a collapsed uh, hydraulic lifter. Okay, found nothing else in there, but that was enough. One lifter. That would have sucked if uh, it started ticking, you know. So let's see, we get this guy back in here. 
at smartychevrolet.com. Credit 75 cents down for cars back approval. They can affect when they refinance. Example stock number CRO40. 75 cents down for $49 a month at 3.99 APR for 84 months. Offer actually ends on September 30th, 2021. Lobster Lovers Weekend is back. Visit the 99 restaurants this Friday through Sunday and order their famous colossal or hot butter lobster roll and you'll get a free three-course meal upgrade. This weekend only, the 99. Always the real deal. This is the sound of a family of four. <laughs> All working away on their devices. See, with Xfinity okay. Internet, they now get Wi-Fi speed faster than a We'll put those back on and I'll put on the... Uh, Caps, barren caps again, torque to spec, and we'll see if we can get that phaser back on. Be back. Whoa. All right, got the caps tightened down. Believe it or not, my hands are cramping up like crazy. So, might have to bail this. I might have tried to get this thing on, though. <coughs> Which is a big pain in the ass the last time. Look at that. <laughs> Now, that's what it's supposed to be. Alright, so we put the whole rolling unit in here. Gotta keep that tension off the, uh, in that shit, huh? Who's right in? <laughs> All right, put this guy back in. Are right or not, you know what? It seems like it could go more, but <clears throat> don't want to be breaking anything either. So that's that part of it. If this guy will come out, sure. Well, yeah, see, because I had to grind this thing here, grind it right off of there, made things much easier if the tool was right. Okay, so. I think it's valve cover time, so uh, we'll see you in a bit. And just so you can see what these gaskets look like, kind of lining up a little bit. Look where the tabs are. That kind of looks right, so take the old one out. Dark out here, so it's getting kind of hard to see. I'm thinking that's not right. <coughs> if I do a sip. I wasn't good at puzzles either. <coughs> yeah. Kind of leaves right in there, you know. I just look for the This is Felpro, so good stuff. It's probably gonna be right the other one was. So. <clears throat> just lay it in like it wants to go. They've got it uh, formed pretty darn good.
this is kind of an improvement over the old uh, gaskets where you had to paste it all over the place, you know what I mean? You got the older folks on the top of that. <coughs> this has, these are like, this is a great design. It never leaked. So, I'll try to put this on and uh, we'll go ahead and start putting this thing back together. I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight, obviously. I'm running out of light. I might be able to at least get this thing snapped back on. And maybe the control valves, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, going to wrap it up here. It's getting dark. I got my wife out here holding the light for me, so that's cool. So I'm putting the uh, oil control valves back on here. Make sure your gaskets are still here. rusty ones at the top this time so it'll be easier to cut off if I have to except for the bottom one I guess I didn't but this one I did at least here <coughs> I ain't doing this again anyway so it doesn't matter what the next guy do it <laughs> who's the next guy whoever whoever buys this thing or when they take it out in the junkyard I think you're going to be happy with your repairs. No torque specs on these, just don't break them, that's it. Anyway, if they loosen up, better not to break it than to break it. Pretty good gasket, anyway. I don't think it's gonna leak. Sensor back in back here. Yeah. I'm coming around, you stay right there. Let me re aim home. Let's see here. All right. Up and down. Okay. 
This thing's a little tricky, you kind of got to balance the bolt. There's a thread to weigh down in there, I got to get the right socket here. <laughs> One. Just our socket. This one? No. No. Uh, no. We'll be right back, folks. I gotta find a socket. <laughs> Alright, this is the last phase and the most fun part of ever. This part isn't gonna get that plunging. First, we're gonna replace these gaskets. Still ahead, got some STP and details about tonight's homegrown showcase with Lori Lurie on Cape Cod's Rock. Pixie 103. <clears throat> work here. up just for now because it's windy as hell out here. Don't need anything blowing in there for now. <clears throat> I'm gonna go grab the plenum because I got a couple of problems with that thing. I'll show you in a sec. Well it's been an interesting project. Project Pentastar 3.6 but uh, I think we'll be good to go here. So we ended up finding two bad roller rockers and a bad lifter. I don't know if you can see this, but that one's not too bad actually. This one though. You see that hopping up and down there a little bit? It's supposed to move. Those rollers are gone. Lifter. Shouldn't be able to squeeze it by hand. As you can see, it's... I'm able to compress it. No good. Car still ran okay, but uh, this is, you know... It wouldn't have for long. We fired it up. And 
tick's gone. So it is doable. It's a pain. But it didn't blow up. Not throwing any codes. Quieter. Idling good. And uh, 500 bucks. Call it six good tools if you want. It can be done. So the upper intake, uh, depending on how it's arranged, is probably the hardest part of this. And getting the right tools. Make sure you check the tools if you get them. And uh, if you've never done it, probably plan on a good uh, 10 hours taking your time, you know, on, uh, on the weekend. So, But hopefully I get another 50K out of it. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope this helps people out.